Um, who do you think the Oregon is going to hire as their new coach? That is a great question. For those who follow the NCAA, University of Oregon, Robert Johnson, um, it's not having his contract renewed, so there is probably the most marquee coaching job available right now in the NCAA, the Oregon coaching job. And there are some people that we have been thinking about. I would say there's a big three in my mind. In no particular order. I won't rank the three. But the thing about this Oregon job, one, you need to be a great coach, obviously. And then two, you need to be a great, like, face of the program, ambassador. You got to do non-coaching things. And some, you may, if you're not good at doing non-coaching things, you may not be good for that role. And now these three people, I don't think, I think there's one of these three people are probably good at both of those. Two of the other three are only good at one of those. But in no particular order, I would say if I was at Oregon and I was the athletic director and I had to come up with a interview list, this is who I would interview. I would interview Mike Smith, Northern Arizona. I mean, come on, see what he's doing at NAU, winning constant cross-country titles. The guy knows how to coach distance. And Oregon has a long history of great, you know, distance uh, success, and Mike Smith would be the guy to have. Mike Smith, I'm not sure how much he knows about sprinting. Probably nothing, but you have to hire a good sprint coach to kind of handle that for him. But Mike Smith would definitely be a, val a, a viable candidate for the Oregon job. Number two, again, in no order. This is not a, there's no order here. I would go with Dilji Taylor, BYU women's head coach. You see what she's doing with you know, not limited resources, but unique situations being a, having a coach at a school at like BYU that has the Mormon code. It's kind of hard to get people who aren't Mormon to run there. So it's a little bit of harder for recruiting purposes. But you see what she's doing with her teams, winning cross-country titles, individual titles. She just had Courtney Weymouth get second in the steeple. She's on a run and she's super personable. She would be great face of Oregon. Um, I think Dilsey Taylor of BYU would be an, a good candidate. Um, and it'll be pretty badass to see a woman have the, the top coaching job in the NCAA. And then another person, Jerry Schumacher. Bam. You know, he's already there in the, the, Northwest, the, North, the Northwest area, Portland. Got the Nike connection. He sure knows how to coach elite talent. We see that with Bowerman getting, I think, five people to USA's and more when you go to non uh, US athletes. The thing is, though, Jerry is a secretive guy. He may not want to get into the, the NCAA world where you have to talk a little more and, like, you know, doing all the recruiting and all this stuff. Uh, his kids are older now, so he might have more time on his hands because he's not, you know, going to local high school competitions. But I think Jerry Schumacher would be a big get for Oregon. And then after that, I mean, I made a wild card. Like, you know, what if Carl Lewis, you know, we know Leroy Burrell left Houston. What if Carl Lewis is like, I'm going to go to Oregon and change things up? He, Carl Lewis, one who will always have an opinion about the state of our sport, always talks about, you know, how popular the sport was back in the 80s when he was one of the star athletes. Maybe him being at the helm of Oregon could make a big change for good. Um, but it's not going to be Carl Lewis. But if it was, that would be, be cool. I'm just going to say it. No bias. I just think it would be cool. Um, but then, yeah, I don't know who else. I just, those are the three that I thought of that people around Eugene were kind of talking about it, you know, at the bar and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, maybe that person. Oh, yeah, I can see that. So we'll see. But that's who I think. Those are the big three. Again, no particular order. I have no idea. It could be also none of those three. This is all just hearsay. I'm not reporting. So don't aggregate this. I'm not reporting. Not reporting. 